you will learn during the course of your studies here. This equation shall be, I promise you, the most helpful throughout the course of your study because this equation fundamentally breaks down what DNA is composed of and what components of DNA I seem to have messed myself. I mean, I haven't really messed myself. I mean, I messed my shirt up. But uh, make sure you read chapter four in your textbooks on genetics and it's gonna be a pop quiz on Wednesday. There's a pop quiz. Pop quiz. interrupt. I was looking for Professor Clump. I'm him. I'm he. I'm Sherman Clump. I do that all the time. Makes the table look more festive and the kids enjoy it. The yellow and the green and purple rolling around. The table's more colorful and... Would another time be better? I can oh, always... No, no, don't be ridiculous. I'm between classes and I got a few minutes to chat. Yeah. How, how can I help you? Hi, I'm Carla Purdy. Hello, Miss Purdy. Hi, I'm, I'm a grad student, and I'm teaching my first intro chemistry class across the oh, hall. Okay. Mm hmm I just had to come over here and introduce myself because I followed your work for many years, and I'm a big fan. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'm fatter, uh, flattered that you, you've been following my work the way you have. <laughs> and a chemistry teacher. Chemistry show is important to have. Chemistry to have and use it chemically, chemistry, <laughs> well. Professor Klump, it's been more than a pleasure oh, meeting oh, you. Oh, the pleasure was all mine, Miss Purdy. And, um, hope to see you around. Well, you can't miss me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have a good day. You do the same, Miss Purdy. Mm, mm, mm. And that's fine. He's fine. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is so fabulous. Ain't nothing like getting together with family and having a good meal. Oh, please, take this bowl. It's too hot. I oh, am hungry. My, my damn, Sherman, it's almost like we don't see your ass no more. It's good to see you, son. Don't yeah, Sherman, you think you took your college good to spend a little time with your family every now and then? Well, I've been real busy with my research, uh, I don't want no potato. You know mashed potatoes give me gas. You know, in my day, Sherman, people used to spend time with their family on Sundays and special occasion, come around and pay their respects. You mess around and miss all little Ernest golden years, magic golden years, and you're gonna be mad at yourself. Uh, That's your nephew. Oh, baby's got a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, you better cover your plate. Oh, Our grandma. <laughs> the Mama, have some water. Man, I'm talking about covering your plate. Don't, not tonight, Cletus. I'll kick your ass. Sherman, I cooked all this food. Is that all you gonna eat? Hey, 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 hey. What's wrong with you? You're supposed to eat that thing, not scalp it. Well, Daddy, all the uh, calories in the chicken are found in the skin and in the fat, so I peel it what you talking about? That's where all the fats and calories is. You know where that come from? Watching that damn TV. Every time you turn it on, they got somebody in there talking about lose weight, get healthy, get in shape. Got everybody looking all anorexic, talking about that's healthy. I know what healthy is. And tell you something else. I don't know why everybody trying to lose weight in the first place. Ain't everybody supposed to be the same size. We're supposed to be all different. Big, small, medium, midget. She's supposed to have all of that. And I don't uh -huh. know what it is. Everybody want to be the same size. Like that Oprah Winfrey. She gonna lose her weight. Wasn't nothing wrong with She was fine. Oprah was a fox. She lose all that weight. Her head look all big, skin hanging all off her, and Luther Vandross. Nigga used to be the black Pavarotti. Lost all that weight looking all ashy. Oprah and Luther need to keep their ass one weight because I'm confused. Yes, I hope nothing's wrong with Oprah. She doesn't look real. Ain't nothing wrong with Oprah. I seen Oprah on hard copy last week with a picture of hell. 
Got a tall, young, strong gentleman named Stedman, so handsome. He's my favorite out of all of them. Jenny Jones, Marilyn Kagan, Maury Povich, Latterman, Lano, Montel, Ricky Lake. I like Rado. Mike Douglas. Oh, Mike Douglas. You know, Mike Douglas used to make me moist when I watched the show. I would get, I admit it, I would get moist when I watched the show. Only white man ever did that to me was Mike Douglas. I would like to volunteer to take this old bird out of her misery. Cletus, don't you dare say something like that about Mom. Oh, no, oh, you ain't got to protect me from Cletus. Come on, Cletus. Come on. Come on over here. Come on in there. Let's show walk. Come on over. Then, then uh, you're going to limp back. You walk over, but you're limping back. Now, don't don't let the gray hair fool you. I ain't no easy win, nigga. You know what your problem is? It don't work out. Got exercise. Look at me. That's all muscle. Oh, you fat. I muscle, oh, but I don't look work at out. my little bill. Oh, he's a little Hercules. Show me muscle again. Oh, Hercules, 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 Hercules. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Your metabolism starts to speed up. You can eat anything you want. Go on. Knock yourself out. He's so strong. Well, Ernie, recent studies have shown that certain people are genetically predisposed to gaining weight. Someday in the near future, we might even find a cure. Only thing you need to study is your ass. I got a big ass. Your mama got a big ass. Please. You do have a big ass. Don't tell me nothing. Your ass is as big in our family. So you need to get used to that. And I don't care what diet you go on, you can sew up your stomach and your asshole, you're gonna always be fat. Daddy, all I'm trying to say is that scientific breakthroughs are occurring all the time. And the only thing about to break through is your ass about to break through the seat of your pants. <laughs> you know, Sherman, I think I do remember hearing something on TV about colon cleansing. They say everyone should have one. I'm thinking about getting me an appointment and go down and get my colon cleansed thoroughly. You want your colon cleansed? Fine, I'm gonna clean mine. Yeah, now nah, my cone is clean. I'm talking squeaky clean. What happened, Neil? You gotta start breaking gas. Don't break gas and destroy our meal. Don't tell me to stop. You the one who brought up cone and cleansing and all that mess. I did not say anything about breaking gas. I said that I was gonna get my cone and clean. No, you can talk about putting the tube in somebody's ass, but I can't break wind. I didn't say nothing about putting the holes up nobody's ass. I well, what said, you think of Kalan again? You think you run the asshole by the car wash? He choking the baby. As long as I'm back there, I'll do what I want to do with this table. Case in point. Who that call my name? Yeah, I called you if your name is. <laughs> Keep in front of me. I talk this between the crack of your ass. Yeah, you know I can go all night. Keep it fuck. Fuck. I hope you fought to your asshole falls out. <laughs> oh, baby, too. Oh, now, see what you made me do? God damn it, I messed up my pain. Damn, Daddy. You gotta clean him yourself. You rotten. Oh, Lord, this has been a fabulous, wonderful, fabulous evening. Oh, look, them dogs them tore my gun. Cletus, the dog ripped the garbage open again. Well, shoot the damn dog. I'm not shooting no dog. I'm trying to watch Roseanne. Thanks for dealing, Mama. Sherman, what's wrong with you? Baby, you still worried about what your father said in there? Oh, son, listen to me. You are special. And when the good Lord made you, he made you beautiful inside and out. You can do anything, Sherman. All you got to do is believe in yourself and you can do anything. <laughs> You're so handsome. Give me some sugar. Love mama. Love you too, baby. Nighty night, all oh, my baby. Shum, shum, shum. Fabulous. Cletus, come clean this garbage up. And I'm watching TV. I'll get you laid ass up. Why'd you mind your damn business? You lay that mother.